Hey, Alan here from Damn Good Reviews. So I got my results back from 23andMe, the DNA test site, um, and going to take a look at it right now and give you my overall thought about it. So once you get in, you can take some additional questions if you want to further elaborate, which I did a lot of these questions um, in those weeks that I was waiting, and it really adds, I guess, to the information that they're going to be able to provide back with you um, and really helps, I guess, match up a lot more um, you know, topics from your testing. So when you log in, they can go to my reports. And then from my testing, they were able to provide me with 65 reports. And then that's all reports. And then you can see all the different type for carrier status, ancestry reports, wellness reports, traits, tutorials of, you know, learning more about your uh, genetics. So let me just go to all reports real quick. Now, as um, an Ashkenazi Jewish descent, um, my uh, variant for Bloom syndrome was detected. Now, thank God no one in my family has this syndrome, and it is rare, but it is something that is carried uh, through Ashkenazi, Ashkenazi Jewish tribe. Now, if you want to learn more, you can go to View Report, and it tells you that the one variant was detected and that you could possibly pass this on. Um, now, if you look further down, it will tell you how to use the test, the limitations of the test, what's not included, and then it says that I am a carrier and because they detected the one variant. And then it also says each child may have a 25% chance. If you or your partner are both carriers, um, then that's the bigger percentage. And I think this is great for someone that's either pregnant or looking to become pregnant, you know, for the couples to do these tests to learn even more about their genetics um, and be able to determine this or many other disorders that may uh, be within your system that maybe you just don't know about. And then if you scroll down, like on all the other tests, it tells you how the system symptoms develop, typical signs, uh, ethnicity, uh, most affected, and we'll tell you the Ashkenazi Jewish descent. And then you can connect with a geneticist or share report, print report, and learn more. So that's that right there. And then what we see further down, we have my ancestry composition. Now, this is something I was really looking to get. My parents told me, of course, you know, where my grandparents were from, my great-grandparents. Um, we do have a, a pretty good, um, you know, family tree and know where a lot of it was but some of it is just mixed up in in Europe and uh, can't get straight answers and I was hoping this was really going to break it down even even more so when I saw this I was like great 99.7 percent European which pretty much is target on now let's see if we can break it down where that actually falls from so you'll see some of these other areas very very small and it has 31 tested populations now if I go into European the one that comes up 96.2% just says Ashkenazi, and then it shows where it is on the map. Well, that really doesn't help me. And it says where they were thought to have settled. Um, I really thought I was going to get not so much a pinpoint, but maybe some more information, but then it breaks down to only 0.6% of Northwestern Europe, which I know I have a family from, uh, you know, from England and also from, um, from Poland. And those areas, uh, so I was just really hoping that a lot of those places would come up just in more detail. I don't know why I thought that, but uh, I was kind of hoping for that. But still really cool to see that uh, I guess my parents aren't lying, considering telling me where I'm actually from. And then you can always branch out on these reports if you invite your father or mother to take reports and then you combine them. You'll get even more detailed information, which is really cool. And then, of course, you have scientific details if you want to go into that. And just explains the DNA structure and strands of how everything came about from those different areas. So let's go back here. And then... All right, so back to the report. So we ancestry reports and then wellness reports. So take a look at that real quick. And these are things like lactose intolerance. Um, it will tell you, you know, how your makeup 
works with these so to see it, they test for a certain variant now um, it says that likely lactose intolerant I don't have a problem but my brother does um, you know so perhaps it's something that runs in the family but then it goes further down into it explains it and then you know I would have to inherit the two variants and again if you connect your father and mother and they take the test they can actually confirm all this uh, to really learn more so that's pretty interesting and then your alcohol flush reaction, caffeine consumption. And I think some of this is made up from those other test questions as well as comparing your, your DNA. So we have that. Let's go back to reports overview. And then carrier status reports, which this is something I think that was really, really great. A lot of these rare genetic disorders I've never even heard of. Some of them I have. But by doing these tests, you can really know about your... Uh, you know, your genetics and, and DNA to make sure you, either you don't have any of these disorders or um, any variants or and if you do you know what you need to do about them so I mean just taking a look real quick all these thank God were variant not detected but then if you go into it it will tell you more about it the limitations again just like I showed you before with the Bloom syndrome and then you still have a chance of being carrier for familiar dis autonomia and it tells you what the percentage is and then it gives you all about it and then if you want to learn more you can always connect with a geneticist and, and speak to them but all these are really really important and great to see and uh, you know, again thanks and thankfully no variants were detected for all of these except the Bloom syndrome which is related to the Ashkenazi Jewish uh, tribe and ancestry and then you have some tutorials and then also some traits, which things like facial features, hair, uh, physical characteristics. So if we go to that real quick, you see body hair. It says you most likely have back hair. Yes, true. Your earwax type, digit ratio is how long your fingers are possibly. I mean, these things, obviously, I can, I know by measuring them, but it makes it up and tells you the information based on your genetic likelihood and your ancestry so you can compare to um, you know compare those two factors and really find out uh, more and drill down even further so that's I don't know that's pretty interesting information you know I don't know what it's gonna really do for me but really it's things that I never thought about um, you know looking into or learning learning about and then uh, we can do physical Ooh, that was the same thing. Sorry about that. And then physical responses. Photic sneeze, which means you go outside, you look at the sun, and you sneeze. Uh, I don't have this. And actually, if you look at it here, if I click on it, um, it says that my likelihood is actually very low. And same thing with the European ancestry. Um, and then we'll go in and tell you more about it based on bright lights, you know. And it, it happens. And it says 25% of people sneeze in response to sunlight, which I actually I did not know it was actually um, something from genetics <laughs> really really interesting and it tells you about taste and smell and then hair um, you know eyes things like that so really really a lot of information in all these reports and then you can always go to tutorials if you want to learn more and then again you know this will tell you um, how to really use those reports and compare them but your reports will definitely be, you know, even bigger and better if your parents do it, um, other family members, and then you can share it, um, you know, between others. Maybe your children want to do it and see everything that you know makes, uh, you know, makes up your whole family genetics. Um, overall, I think this is a really, really great tool. It's you know not very expensive, but you can definitely learn a lot from it. I think it's great for expecting parents or or you know expecting individuals or ones that want to get pregnant and learn more about their genetic makeup especially between their partners and you can compare and make sure that certain traits and variants are not detected for genetic syndromes but um really really cool i'm very happy with it i'm gonna actually promote it out to my uh my siblings and my parents and and hopefully they're gonna take it and i can branch out and uh, learn more from the whole family and compare everything but um i really enjoyed doing it it took, um, you know, it, it took about six weeks to get it back after uh, sending in the package. But, you know, it's not like I was on edge waiting for anything. So I guess the amount of time was was really fine by me. 
But uh, if you're looking to learn more about your genetic makeup, your DNA, uh, I really recommend it. Check it out, 23andMe.com. Uh, I had fun doing this and uh, still going through a lot of these reports and just learning more about syndromes I didn't know about um, and just more about my uh, genetic makeup. So I had a blast. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Alan from Damn Good Reviews. Make sure to subscribe right here on YouTube, and we'll see you soon.